today. Today, normally, we, are, we always talk about the Ed's defense, but man, let's talk about the offense to start. On the other side, Arch, man, it was always talked about how fast Medina came, but today you guys came out a, a, a little bit faster. Just talk about the aggressiveness, man. Brandon, Brian, three different scores today. You guys out there pushing people around. I seen the look of your face, Arch. Arch, you wanted to push somebody through the turf today. Just talk about the line, man, and just how proud you are. Three straight trips to to the Final Four. How proud are you right now, man? Uh, it's, I, I have no words. I mean, it's like, so we spend all week talking about how we need to be aggressive. How it's it's not a, it's not just chance that we make it here. It's because it's we earned it. We just need to earn this one too. I think I think that was our message throughout the week. Just like kind of we have to keep our aggressive. We keep our cone. We just kind of set the tone for the rest of the playoffs. Arch man, this team man. I know I know nobody's on this team is 100 percent healthy. Everybody's battered. Everybody's bruised. As being a leader on this team, man, how do you galvanize the troops, man? How do you get everybody just to stay focused, just stay mentally ready, man? There's two more games, and you guys have your third championship, man. So it's how do you guys stay focused, man? I think it's just uh, the fact that uh, it's always next man up for us. It's just like with Casey and Thomas, I mean, that was, that was the best thing we could have done because, I mean, Thomas, he gained so much experience for next year, and he gained so much experience for this year, too. I mean, he was a great – I don't want to call him a backup because he's not that. He, he was a great quarterback for us. Man, you know, speaking about speaking about Thomas, man, he, Thomas does fill in great for when his number is called, man. But QB1 was back today, man. Man, that guy's gutsy, man. Just talk about how he's been in and out of the lineup a few times this week. But anytime he comes back, man, you guys, you guys stay on the beat, man. Just talk about how important it was that you guys had him out there today. I mean, there's, there's no lag from when he's out to when he comes in. I think it's, I think it's all natural for us now. The fact that when he's out, Thomas fills in, but when he comes back, it feels like it feels like the game before. Arch man, one down, two more to go, man. We'll be seeing you. We won't be around next week, man. Good luck to you guys next week. But we definitely will be seeing you guys in Canton. QB one, man. You've been in and out of the lineup, but anytime you back in, man, you command you command the offense. You, man, it, it, the offense always just look a lot more explosive with you out there, man. Just talk about, man, today, just your performance today, man. Two back-to-back -to -back scoring drives that you put together in the second half. Put that team away, man. Third consecutive trip to the Final Four, man. Just talk about your performance today. You know, it was great to be back out there with the guys, and it all started with the big guys up front. You know, they totally dominated the whole game. You know, they couldn't stop the run at all. We were getting uh, 10, 10 yards a carry almost, so they couldn't stop us. So it all started with the big guys up front, but, you know, we adjusted some things at halftime, and we knew we were just going to keep rolling through. So uh, all started up with the big guys up front. Uh, Brandon obviously had a good game, and, you know, we're rolling right now. I can't wait for next week. Man, speaking of next week, man, this will be your third consecutive trip to Mansfield for the Final Four, man. As being the leader, as being one of the leaders of the team, man, QB1, it's been, it's been kind of – you've been one of the main reasons that you made it down there, man. So as you sit back, man, and think about that, man, just, you know, you take the time in, the success and everything. Just talk about how proud you are, you are for this to be your third consecutive trip. You know, I'm just really proud of the team. You know, nobody really got complacent after our uh, state championship last year, and that's the most important thing. You know, everyone's still hungry for this third one. So that's the reason we're still alive right now, and I'm just really proud of all of our guys for coming together and, you know, keep pushing each other forward uh, as we keep going. Congratulations again, Casey, man. Next week is business as usual, man. We'll be seeing you hopefully in Canton, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. B, you had a, B what you tell me before the game? You said... You said a one percent chance you might get it. You might get it. It didn't happen today, B. Three straight touchdowns in the first B. I didn't even see you out there in the second half, but but a couple plays, man. Just talk about how fast that it, it, the the quickness of the game, how fast, how important it was for you guys to start fast, and just talk about the win overall, man. Dominant win yeah, today. I mean, it felt great. You know, our O line out there blocking downfield, outside receivers blocking downfield, and I want to like show. Hey, respect for our defense for shutting them out. You know, Medina's like a good, fast team, and our defense came out here and shut that down. Man, one of them guys on the other side. I call him Boone Island, man. Yep. Cam Boone. Cam Boone went up against, in my opinion, man, one of the one of the best wide receivers in this area in Austin. No, let's talk about how well you think Cam did today in Austin. One man. thing Cam always do, he shut down. You can get the best receiver you got with Cam. He will shut them down. QB1 was out there today, man. Been in and out of the lineup a few times, but when he's in there, seems like he don't miss a beat, man. Just talk about how well you're impressed with. Feel, feel with Cam good with Casey back. You know, Casey, confident like Casey's just a great quarterback. He's 
He just opened everything up for us, and we trust in him. Man, and this is your second straight, second straight uh, trip to Mansfield, man, for the Final Four, man. Just talk about, man, how you never take it in, man. How you never take anything for granted, man. Just when, whenever you get a chance to just think back and just on what you guys accomplished, man. What can you just say about that? I feel good, you know. I'm only a sophomore, and I'm playing with them. You know, next year I'm not gonna have some of my line, but I got. I'm gonna still have two, and it's just wonderful feeling as a sophomore doing this. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there, man. One of the best, one of the best running backs in Northeast Ohio, man. They gonna put some respect on my guy, B yeah. Name B. Congratulations Thank again, you. man. I won't be around next week, man, but I can already tell you, man, we'll probably be seeing you guys in Canada. Thank you. Hey, man, Boone Island was tested today, man. Coming into this game, Cam, everybody knew. It had a few receivers over there. They had to, they had Wojak, but your, but, number, but your number one assignment today, I'm pretty sure you knew it was going to be that man over there. They call him the cheat code, Austin yeah. Knows. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, How would you yeah. say you did today? I did pretty solid, you know. I do my job every game. That's what I want to do. I want to stop him. You know, if we stop him, they, they couldn't score the ball without him. We watched the film. We knew they was going to pass the ball every play. We just did, did what we had to do. Man, this is your third This is your third straight time going down to the Final Four camp. You know, when you sit back and think about it, man, you're a senior. You're one of the, you're one of the leaders on this team, man. You know, just talk, man, just talk a little bit about, man, just the success, man. You got to, you got to, you got to. You got to bask it in at some point. You got to celebrate it at some point, man. You can't just, because at the end of the day, man, you look back tomorrow, man, it's be all over. So just talk about the success, man, of being of going three straight, the possibility of being three-peat. Let's talk about that for a second, man. Uh, you know, we were, that's that's the goal and the end of the goal. You know, we got here, yeah, we happy, but we still, we trying to get to the end. We trying to win another championship, go back to back to half. Uh, I don't think that ever happened in uh, school history or in Ohio. I, I'm not sure, but I don't think it ever happened in Ohio yet. So we're not trying to make history before we leave. It was my last year, trying to get it done. This one of the coldest games you ever played in? Ah, uh, nah, last two years ago. Yeah. It's a little brick. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there though, for sure. It's up there. Sure. Man, one of my well, I got two more questions for you, man. On the other side of the field, man, you got a young boy over there, number 28, man. 213 he yards on the ground. He three consecutive touchdowns to kind of put the put the game away. You call, you told me you. You told me before he was a dog. Yep, I already said that before. He Is he a, a big dog today? Oh, he a big dog. <laughs> he, he one of the ones, and he only young, so he got two more years. He, he gonna be on. Oh, I was he saying goes. on the sideline, man. That man got Mr. Ohio football written all over him. Yes, and then my last question, man. You know, at the quarterback position this year, man, it's kind of been either Thomas mm -hmm. or Casey. But whenever Casey is in that game, man. The offense look elite, man. Y'all putting teams away rather easily. Just talk a little bit about your QB1 real quick. Uh, he, second year back, you know, he got experience. He brought us down to state last year. He played a little bit in sophomore year, so he got experience. He know what he's doing. With him out there, you know, we're going to get the job done every time. Man, Cam, man, we talk every week, man. Super proud of you, man. You got you a pick today. Yes, Big time pick, Cam, but it ain't over with, man. Okay. Next week, man, the mission continues on in Mansfield. I won't be down there. Good luck to you guys. I already kind of feel that we'll be seeing you guys in Canada. Yes, Three straight trips to the final four. Tonight, 42, 42 to seven. Molly Wapen of, of, of Medina, a good team. You know, it was explosive offense. Your defense definitely was thought to be tested tonight. Let's talk about how well you were impressed with the team tonight. Yeah, you know, really, it's quite a challenge to prepare for Medina because of the unconventional offense they give you and, and what they try and do to you and just a different way they play. So, you know, I thought we adapted well as it went on. You know, they got that one hole shot and he kind of took a bad angle on the ball and Noel's made a great play for the touchdown. You know, other than that, we, we did a great job, you know, and, uh, and and we controlled the ball on offense like we do and got our chance to take some shots and that's kind of how we play. Medina, early in the game, I'm not sure if Stoddard got hurt, but they was using an unconventional two-quarterback system. Did, did, did that challenge the defense in any way? Did that throw you guys off? Or it was yeah, kind of yeah, like you stuck to your guns? Yeah, we didn't see that quarterback, I don't think, on, on any case he had. So, uh, I, yeah, but Stoddard came back, you know, like, I, I don't, I, he might have got banged off, is my guess. I ask you this question every week, quarterback one, in and out of the lineup a little bit, but anytime he's in, he commands the offense, the offense is, Almost elite. You know, you guys are putting up well over 30 points with ease. Just talk about, you know, just, you know, Casey a little bit. Yeah, senior quarterback who's a defending state champ. You know, he's, he's your guy and, and uh, he, he brings everybody up. Uh, 
And uh, you know, when you got that offensive line and Brandon White now running the ball and the receivers that can all make a play, it makes it nice. 213 for Brandon White. That was gonna be my next question. You know, just any time, I mean, just any time you, you could get a run game where you got Brandon White, you got a uh, 33 who can, who can, who can uh, get it on the ground, you know. How, how, how tough is this team when you, you know, when you're basically unstoppable on the ground game? Yeah, that, that's, uh, you know, I always say this time of weather and this time of year, you've got to be able to run the ball and stop the run. And we can, we're built to do that. One down, two more to go. Coach, congratulations again. Good luck next week in, in Mansfield. Thank you very much.